Hello, my name is Gregory Pearson, and this is my major presentation for Introduction to Instructional Technology. My topic, Physical Education and Technology. Technology has moved from the classroom to the gymnasium. It is helping students become more motivated to exercise. Technology is helping to ensure that all students are receiving the proper quality of physical education. As seen below, the iPad is being utilized on the volleyball court. A class is exercising interactively and being able to monitor themselves on the TV screen. The young man is watching a proper gymnastics role with an iPad and another classroom setting dealing with being able to view on the viewer screen. Not only are physical education classes focusing on team-oriented sports, but also on individual-oriented sports so that students that are not team-oriented can achieve a level of physical wellness. As seen in the picture, the ability to view and review a climber's technique can instantly be discussed by the use of technology as the climber ascends the climbing apparatus or descends the instructor can critique on site how the climbers form help them achieve this in a safe and proper manner other examples of instantly critiquing a student through the use of iPads and videos are bowling, basketball, golfing, track, archery, dance, boxing, and as seen, rock climbing. In bowling, the videos can show the bowler exactly how their form is to get the proper spin on the ball. In basketball, it can show the participant exactly how proper form will help them make a basket. Golfing videos can help to show the golfer exactly how their swing technique is functioning for them to make sure and get the proper hit. On track, it can be utilized to show a hurdler exactly if they're hitting a hurdle, where and how, and how to better improve their form. Archery, once again with the person in shooting with a bow and arrow, it helps to show them exactly where the mistakes are being made if any. Dance is always uh, utilized with technology by showing the dancers exactly where their steps are and how to better keep their balance. Boxing is also helped with the participant being able to show exactly how their form is, how they hold their gloves, and so on. Technology has also opened the doors for schools to go global with physical education. A good example comes from the article from CNN.com written by Jack Wilson states that Palmeroy, physical education teacher for Merton Intermediate School, has taken technology even further using it to connect his students with other students across the globe. In one instance, he teamed up with a physical education teacher in the United Kingdom to pull off an international dance team competition via Skype. And another time, his students gave jump rope lessons to their peers abroad. A direct quote from Pomeroy makes a very good point. Quote, Sometimes for physical education, you just need to get out of the gym." Unquote. Some students are naturally motivated to be active 
but others are not. Technology is allowing for students to receive a proper amount of physical education needed to maintain the physical well-being that they need. By using online games, teachers have been able to gain the interest of students that are less motivated to exercise. Here are some examples. Arcade style online games which involve movement. Another one which has gained a lot of popularity is called the Dance Dance Revolution game. In this particular game as we see in the photo the students are monitoring themselves by looking at a viewer screen and standing on a pad. There are arrows on the pad facing forward to side to side and backwards and on the viewer screen they mimic where the arrows are, which direction they point and they step on this resulting in a very fun game for them all to play. Music is provided, a lot of uh, extras come into play when the students get more motivated, they seem to get really energized with the participation. As the dance goes on, the dance becomes increasingly difficult to whereas some people fall out and the game is over for them, leaving one left. A little competition never hurt. Also, electronic boxing game where students wear gloves and punch imaginary opponents. The boxing gloves have sensors on the gloves and when they face their opponent which is in the monitoring screen they punch at an imaginary person but you can see the punches being thrown on the TV screen. This helps to show the student how they're doing and what they're doing to their opponent at the time without being hurt. One school is utilizing wristbands and also incorporating an online course dealing with nutrition. This way, the students by using wristbands can see what they're doing physically and then incorporating their results in the online course dealing with nutrition. This allows them to see results instantly on what they're eating, what they should eat, what they should not eat, and how to help with more of a well-balanced diet. By working together, physical education and technology can create a personal and student-centered experience for the student helping them to become more motivated to exercise. A very interesting aspect of physical education and technology can be seen at the Aaron School, a private special needs school in New York City. Incorporated at this school are such sports as bowling, table tennis, and soccer. The bowling, as we stated before, allows the students to monitor how they're bowling, with proper spin on the ball to knock down the proper amount of pins that they can. Table tennis gives the student the opportunity to play an imaginary opponent by swinging a paddle and playing the, the opponent on screen and being able to mimic as if they were playing in a real table tennis game. Soccer is also utilized. The, uh, the students were able to uh, act as a striker or a goalie. You could swap both parts, both of them being just as fun as the each other. And once again, doing this in a safe manner so that the teachers and instructors can make sure all students don't get hurt. This allows the instructors to safely critique the students who have special needs so they can correct their mistakes and enjoy their sports. Another game that is being incorporated into physical education is We Fit. We Fit utilizes exergaming as a new exercising technique. Quote, it's motivating for students, it's intriguing to them, it really captures people's attention and gives you a vehicle for talking about healthy lifestyles and consistent physical activity patterns. Quoted by Fred Cleland, President of the National Association 
for Sports and Physical Education, or NASPE. An important tool in utilizing technology in physical education is monitoring feedback. It is one of the best usage you can, you can use, says Gavin Sandercock, director of the University of Essex. Quote, by using the monitoring apps, the students become more active and motivated to exercise. In conclusion, the utilization of physical education and technology are producing great results to our students both mentally and physically. The past 40 years have seen progress made from the classroom to the ballpark and gymnasium. One can only imagine what the next 40 years will bring. Thank you.